In the golden era of aviation, a new player emerged in the Middle East, Gulf Air. Born in 1950, Gulf Air took its first breath as Gulf Aviation, a small-scale commuter service that dared to dream big. The man behind this bold venture was Freddie Bosworth, a British pilot and entrepreneur. Bosworth's ambition was to connect the Gulf region with the world, and so, Gulf Aviation was born. Initially owned by BOAC, the predecessor of today's British Airways, Gulf Aviation took to the skies with a modest fleet of just two aircrafts. Yet, the vision was grand. Despite its humble beginnings, the airline was driven by an aspiration to become a major player in the international aviation industry. Through the turbulence and triumphs of its early years, Gulf Air learned to fly. From these humble beginnings, Gulf Air embarked on a journey to become a major international airline. As the oil industry flourished in the Gulf region, so did Gulf Air. The 1970s and 1980s saw the airline soaring to new heights, its wings spreading far and wide. These were the golden years of Gulf Air as it became the flag carrier for not one but four countries, Bahrain, the United Arab Emirates, Oman and Qatar. A testament to its success and the trust these nations placed in its services. The airline's fleet grew dramatically during this period, adding a variety of new aircraft to its lineup. This expansion wasn't limited to just the fleet. Gulf Air started connecting to new destinations creating one of the world's largest networks. From the bustling city of London to the vibrant streets of Mumbai Gulf Air was becoming a familiar sight in skies across the globe. But the journey wasn't always smooth. The airline faced a significant challenge during the Gulf War in the early 1990s. The war caused considerable disruption to its operations, leading to a decrease in passenger numbers and revenue. The war's aftermath was equally challenging, with the United Arab Emirates, Oman and Qatar, deciding to withdraw from the Gulf Air Consortium. These nations chose to focus on their own national carriers, leaving Bahrain as the sole owner of Gulf Air. This period of turbulence could have grounded many an airline but not Gulf Air. The company took the changes in stride, adapting and evolving to meet the new landscape of the aviation industry. It restructured its operations, streamlined its fleet, and focused on improving its services and customer experience. Despite the hurdles, Gulf Air retained its status as a leading airline in the Middle East. Its story is one of resilience and adaptability, demonstrating how an airline can navigate through challenges and emerge stronger. Gulf Air's growth and expansion serve as a testament to its enduring legacy in the aviation industry, a legacy that continues to thrive today. Today Gulf Air stands as the proud national carrier of the Kingdom of Bahrain. The airline has undergone significant transformation in recent years, including a rebranding in 2018 and the introduction of new state-of-the-art aircraft into its fleet. This modernization reflects Gulf Air's commitment to innovation, a commitment that extends to every facet of its operations. Quality service is at the heart of Gulf Air's mission. Whether you're stepping aboard a short-haul flight or settling in for a long-haul journey, you can expect to be treated with the utmost care and respect by the airline's dedicated staff. Gulf Air's commitment to sustainability is equally strong. The airline is continually seeking ways to reduce its environmental impact, from fuel-efficient aircraft to innovative in-flight recycling programs. Today, Gulf Air serves a vast network of destinations across the globe, and there are plans for even further expansion. Through its rich history and commitment to excellence, Gulf Air continues to soar high in the global aviation industry.